Hi guys, this will be a very short review of our Shida A6 amplifier. I got it last week. I was running it for Berlin for the past uh, three days and uh, then I've done some testing and comparisons to other stuff that I have uh, available at home. So I am ready to tell, tell you a few words about the amplifier. Okay, so the first thing is what comes in the packaging. The packaging is quite nice. We get power brick, we get two tubes and we get the amplifier along with Bluetooth antenna and some cheesy plastic logo. Okay, that's the logo. We can take it away and we can put it back. We are also getting power brick. Power brick is uh, with 24 volts and 4 amps output, as you can see. And there is a slight problem, at least with my piece. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll shut up for a minute. Anyway, it's buzzing. It's a quiet bus and it changes when the power is connected to the device. It's kind of hard to do that with one hand on them. Okay. So we have a switch for the source, Bluetooth RCA. Uh, Bluetooth uh, is exactly as specified, uh, which means that this is a Qualcomm 5125 uh, chip and it uh, covers all uh, IPTX um, codecs uh, along with LDAC, LDAC. So basically all the goodies that you can have at the moment. Uh, then we have a switch for shutting down or choosing the color of this logo. It can be orange or it can be green. Yeah, it's green, though I can see on my phone that it looks like a bluish color, but it's green. Well, we can switch it off and take it away. Uh, about the lamps, about the tubes. These are General Electric 57525W tubes, and they are quite nice. Uh, we also have tone controls for bass and treble and volume control. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but my errors tell me that uh, neutral position in case of uh, tone controls is, as you can see, at the bottom. Not as it is uh, usually in with uh, Chi-Fi, somewhere around here. My ears tell me that the neutral, neutral position is here. What about the back of the device? Speaker outputs, small ones, but the banana, standard bananas are uh, plugging correctly. Uh, we have uh, RCA input and we have line out for subwoofer or some kind of power amplifier. Uh, this is a kind, this is nice touch to be able to connect subwoofer to this. And uh, now to the most important bit, which is how does it actually sound? Uh, during the uh, past few years, I was buying uh, everything uh, new from Chi-Fi and this was my past champion, Fossi Audio TB10A. Uh, I also had uh, famous Saima A07 and basically all stuff that was coming along. So as I said, this was my previous champ. Uh, for the testing, uh, I was using uh, Cambridge Audio speakers. The silver ones there, I was using Wolfdale, Wolfdale for Evo 4.2s and uh, just to have some fun I was using my Martin Logan, Martin Logan Ascents uh, covered here. So, starting from the treble. The treble is airy, uh, 
um, and it's uh, it's quite detailed. In my other video, I was telling you that uh, it's lacking some detail, but then I've done I've done some uh, A to B comparisons between a couple of devices, and I have to correct myself. The treble is fine. There is no detail lacking. Although I'm still interested in playing with tubes, in changing them, for example, for with mullets. Uh, so the treble is fine. It's heavy, it's extended, it's detailed. Nothing along with the treble. Uh, needs. Uh, the voices are great. The voices, the female and male voices are great. Uh, the needs are not recessed. Uh, they are quite nice. Uh, the bass is fine. It's fast. Uh, it's not bleeding into the rest of the spectrum, it's just there, as it should be. Uh, the biggest selling point for this amplifier, I'd say, would be its sound stage and instrument positioning. It's just splendid. The sound stage is very, very wide, but at the same time, all the instruments have pinpoint location, especially center image. So that's something that I was very, very nicely surprised with. I can recommend this device, even if it's only for its holographic presentation. Uh, it's cheap, although it's slightly more expensive than for C audio. Uh, but I think I'll keep this one. I'll be selling. This is my backup uh, TB10A. Uh, I liked it so much that I actually have uh, two pieces of this device, and I also have one with uh, Bluetooth input um, uh, in addition to just RCA jacks. So this one will be sold. This is a keeper for now. Uh, I've also ordered um, Fossi Audio TB20A Pro uh, amplifier. It should be with me within one or two weeks, so I'll be giving I like you for this one. In summary, I can only recommend this one. As I said, I had uh, all other cheap or maybe not so cheap amplifiers, including AIMA A07, uh, SMSL, SU09 uh, and others. And uh, I can tell you that uh, TPA's uh, 5255 uh, were not playing along with me nicely. Uh, I don't know, the sound was just too flat. Uh, I rather preferred uh, TPA3116, which is used in this device. Uh, as for uh, Infineon Meros uh, chips, um, I found them a little bit on the dry side. There was nothing wrong with the sound stage, there was nothing wrong with the treble or the bass, but the mids were kind of mechanic. I don't know what, uh, what should I use here, but I didn't really like them. Uh, the best sample for that that I had was uh, Sabach A20A, which was uh, an uh, integrated amplifier with balanced and uh, XLR uh, inputs. And technically it was uh, okay, but as I said, when I was listening to this device uh, for a longer time, I was lacking something with, with voices. This one has a very nice, very organic voices. And uh, as I said, I was doing some testings and uh, testing and uh, while I was testing this, uh, trying to compare the sound, the music of the songs that I know by my heart, I suddenly realized that uh, it's the fifth hour of my testing and I'm no longer actually testing, I'm just listening to music. So that's a very good thing in my opinion. Uh, especially uh, having in mind that my main rig uh, is this uh, Cambridge Audio set uh, 851D plus uh, double 851W. Uh, power amplifiers, uh, which are connected to my Martin Logan Astens. So the price difference uh, is uh, <laughs> it's just uh, hilarious, but this is a nice device. And that's it. If you have any questions, 
please ask them in the comments. I probably forgot about tons of things. This is one of my first reviews, so you can see this amateur review with shaky camera and different things in the background. So I hope that next videos will be a little bit better. Have fun guys.